Hi all. Oh, good morning. Let us uh, discuss today topic uh, process constraint in uh, fusion oracle fusion. Okay. So, oh, process constraint uh, it's nothing but is a security framework, and uh, it helps us to control changes on sales orders. So, like you know. Or uh, how I mean uh, on particular condition is it you know, do we need to allow to change or uh, any attributes or in any I mean uh, that sales order or uh, in particular condition do we need to allow cancel or not or in particular condition do we need to update or not on particular condition do we need to allow to submit or not so list of the actions uh, there is a list of the actions uh, I will show you in the demo so it will allow to uh, on particular uh, conditions okay this part uh, process constraint is action part uh, then process constraint uh, there is a three part uh, you can uh, treat as a three uh, three different parts okay in that uh, validation rule set and uh, record set cross constraint validation rule set and record set validation rule set it's uh, it's you know condition part we will write any conditions uh, like you know multiple conditions we can write uh, in validation rule set and uh, record set record set is the uh, on which attribute we are going to uh, write i mean like uh, in header or line or uh, fulfillment line on which ID we are going to write a uh, condition or uh, it process constraint that will uh, it will I will show in demonstrate okay it will show okay and uh, in record in process constraint there is a one more uh, scope one field is a scope then this scope uh, it's actually uh, validation should perform the scope on uh, that validation there is a two all or any uh, that validation true for every record set if you select all that validation will uh, uh, I mean uh, that iteration right while, while uh, validating that uh, each condition so every record should uh, let's say for example uh, uh, I this, this is one example I'm telling uh, if quantity is greater than thousand it should not allow to submit that's simple example and uh, one more and uh, there is a uh, like you know uh, line type if it's a line type uh, by or sl okay i mean here quantity is thousand greater than thousand plus and this one right so uh, and line type is by it should not allow to submit so in this case uh, if we select all so in uh, if you select all means every condition I mean see uh, that uh, greater than thousand it should be true and as well as this line type it uh, should be uh, by then only it will uh, this process construct will trigger otherwise it won't trigger. and any any means anyone either uh, that one uh, what is that uh, anyone if it's a uh, true then it will trigger or uh, either greater than or uh, greater than thousand quantity or this one uh, line type is a buy this is the <coughs> scope uh, significant so let us uh, go in application and we will see how we can uh, do and all. So, uh, how let me write a simple uh, process constraint here, uh, the, which I told right uh, greater than uh, thousand quantity and uh, line type is uh, by. So, uh, navigation go to use uh, setup and maintenance, just click on that uh, user and it will pop up this some small window then here click on uh, setup and maintenance 
setup and maintenance here click on that uh, task list then uh, click on search here manage more manage process constraints click on the manage process constraints yeah here see uh, this process constraint uh, from uh, 19a onwards uh, there is a new feature they added uh, that is called uh, application role uh, means uh, on this constraint we can uh, apply to a uh, particular uh, role uh, let's uh, role user particular role or else we can exclude uh, that role and role based so we can uh, apply this constraint previously earlier version and 18 uh, releases i think so it won't have uh, from 19 19 uh, version onwards it's there so here record set so in record set yeah there is a i'm going to use uh, what is that uh default i mean already seeded ones see here let's say uh line default record set see here description itself they gave the, the record set created on the orchestration line based on the line id that see i told right on particular attribute we are going to write that process constraint means in order line id we are going to write a process constraint the record set contain the line uh, records that corresponding to the particular organization order line used during the process constraint so this is a mandatory so the already def I mean uh, seeded one it will they will give even uh, in the newly new environment also they will give okay and uh, here validation rule set here i'm going to write uh, our own my own uh, conditions here uh, as i told you guys so here oh test test let me validation type here processor api on table let us see select the api so if we select api it will ask that a plsql processor and label and what are the if we, we have then any api command I mean a set of code then it should it will it will ask to to select that api particular api and process this process also i mean by using that uh, some orchestration process i am not sure about that process and table so table means is a uh, number of conditions uh, in it will allow to write here so entity on where we are going to write so header or line level or uh, a fulfillment line level i am going to write fulfillment line level I mean on which attribute I mean from uh, I mean fulfillment line level uh, which are there that attributes right what are the attributes are there then those attributes i'm picking and on those attributes only i'm going to write this uh, conditions or if you select a header and uh, header level attributes it will appear here okay now here uh, let me write uh, some conditions here go actions add row So here add row means uh, quantity right ordered quantity yes here order quantity order quantity is greater than thousand is a thousand and one more I am adding one more condition 
here uh, let me line type yes line type here line type equal to here that value string value or uh, lov values i'm selecting here let's say by if it's a by line type and thousand greater than thousand just this is the condition see here after that save if you save even save also and without generating package it won't appear this uh, our validation rule set name in constraint so that's why save and generate packages okay package generated now in constraint yes so constraint name is CS greater than thousand. Let me write the same name as a display name. Constraint on where we are going to apply constraint on fulfillment line operations see this all uh, this many operations we can perform on uh, process constraint so cancel create and do we need to allow to create or not and do we need to allow to delete or not once this record is created or do we need to allow to split or not do we need to allow to submit or not or do we need to update validation this kind of okay so i am clicking submit and selecting just submit while submitting uh, it will allow i mean uh, it will allow to, to create in the sense draft status order will create but it won't submit okay and uh, here operation right not allowed action is not allowed and applicable role which i told right all we select all right then we can select and enable mean we are going to enable this constraint and free defined if it's a seeded then by default it will go to oh, enable this is the if it's an mean uh, check right those constraints all all are seeded so it's if it's not uh, check mark then it should be the custom okay so now here conditions so what are the messages we need to display it's not allowing okay but how we can recognize that one is the displaying uh, due to that process constraint or not so for that let us uh, oh, pop up or let us uh, use we need to use that condition right where we use here conditions go actions add row multiple conditions also we can write here validation entity so order fulfillment line right it will validate so validation rule set is test right see here came right our validation set scope which i told right or or any okay let me take all or any okay let it be it's okay not an issue and record set i'm record set i'm using a line uh, fulfillment uh, this one because why it's only showing this only few but if you see record set there are multiple right because we are in validation validation entity here we select fulfillment right that fulfillment line level uh, we what are there uh, record sets those record sets only here it's displaying pop up okay record set let's uh, write some message it will pop up while uh, getting error while throwing error in order sales order form okay cannot submit order 
और ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी ग्रेटर देन थाउजेंड हेंस कैन नॉट सबमिट ऑर्डर जस्ट सिंपल मैसेज आई एम गोइंग टू राइट ओके नाउ सेव आफ्टर सेव वी नीड टू जेनरेट पैकेज अदरवाइज इट वोट कम इट वोट इट वोट वर्कआउट ओके डन 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 नाउ वी क्रिएटेड प्रोसेस कांस्टेंट नाउ लेट एस सी दिस वन let us see oh, that order let us try to submit that order with greater than 1000 quantity and the line type is by now go to order management click on order management click on create order What is the quantity greater than thousand? Let me select thousand two. Click on add. See if you have low inventory, also it will usually it will allow. I mean, it will allow. Or if you have the, if you don't have the any constraint, it should allow, right? So here, where is that? Where is that? Okay, view that column, right? Line type, it's not showing. So it's a height of view feature. So if you want to and peer that one, we need to go. See, line type is by, right? Now. I'm saving the order. See, so order created, but let me try to submit. You know, better to choose this one also. Where else? Okay. Yes, submit order. Submit. See, here process constraint. User defined validation failed for the following reason. See, user defined. It's not a custom. User defined. Which we write here that message, right? That message is displaying here. That reason, order quantity is greater than thousand. Hence, cannot submit order. 
got it so if you want to change this if we don't know then we need to update that uh, process constraint that constraint then now we need to go further okay so oh, thank you guys thank you for watching oh, please uh, subscribe and share and if you want to any topic if you want to any video on especially on fusion please comment on below this video then i will try to make it and i will share with you thank you bye bye